back bringing uh, a world class you know, you know, beer fest to Boston. We have over uh, 75 brewers, American 75 brewers. brewers, 300 plus craft beers, uh, which is pretty exciting. Big selection. It's it's kind of like Disneyland for beer drinkers. You know, everywhere you turn, there's a there's a craft beer from a different region that maybe you can't get somewhere else. An event like this is great because it brings more people into the category, creates more interest in beers. And uh, for first year, I think it's awesome. And I hope they do it again next year. So we have speaker panels, moderators. We also have people like you know Dave Lieberman from the Food Network and Here's the Beer. You can come here and taste all these great beers, but you can also walk away learning a little bit more. So hopefully, when you leave the fest, you're not just leaving with a looming hangover the next day and a t-shirt. <laughs> I run a beer company because I wanted there to be beer and beer festivals and events and the ability to interact with a brewery that does, didn't exist before. The things I like to talk about and I'm talk about today is consumers and brewers can make a beer drinker's paradise. What's interesting to me is that what's happened with beer is really part of the explosion of our food culture. And the reason really why I wrote the Brewmaster's Table was to tell people some very simple things. What's in the bottle? Who makes it? Why is it interesting and what do I do with it? What's happened now is that the large breweries have figured out that there really is no future in industrial brewing. The goal is in part to, as many goals are for our industries, to prove that we deserve our place at the table. Uh, literally, with you know, wine gets all the celebration for how well it works with food, and you hear about wine and cheese parties all the time. Well, it's time you started hearing about wine and our beer and cheese parties because wine is not carbonated; it kind of just bounces off of, of the cheese that's coating your your taste buds. Beer, because of its carbonation really does clear your palate off to enjoy the next taste. Is we're going to bring out four different beers and it's the blind tasting. So you're not going to know what beer is exactly what. Um, so when you're pairing something that is mellow and subtle in flavor, uh, you want to have a beer that's not going to overpower it. This beer, I think, also has some floral characteristics. Um, and I think that it pairs well with the sort of the more fruity, nutty notes of the cheese. Um, but I really do believe that for every beer, there's a good pairing, and, and before long, we'll be seeing, you know, Food and Beer magazine. of having seen us in Beer Advocate and heard about us in Beer Advocate, it's great. It's a great thing. You know, top to bottom, it was a great event. Can't beat it. You know, only in Massachusetts, you have the Celtics winning, and then you have good beer just splashing on us. It's beautiful. This is a great time tonight. Great time. We got to sample about 100 beers. The festival was great. Lots of good selections, lots Excellent. of good tasting beers. Excellent. Oh, yeah. Great brew fest. Thank you. I thought it was great. It was a lot of fun. We went to the we ultimate to taste beer it. tasting challenge. That was awesome. And that was a lot of fun. We've never done that before. It's just oh, so yeah. incredible. Yeah. So many brewers came out yeah. to support yeah. the local brewery. Yeah. And if you support your local brewery, they support you. It's awesome. <laughs> There's a lot of beer. <laughs> what do you say? Excellent. It's great. It's great. So far, so good. It wasn't just about getting wasted. It was about an education. I experienced a lot of beers I never had before, and it was quite entertaining. I've been to the GABF eight times. This is fantastic. Got a wide view of north northeastern breweries. 
and it's really amazing that they brought this down here for everybody. Yeah, I'm normally a wine drinker and I really appreciated all of the different flavors and varieties of beer. It opened my eyes up a lot. I am a beer advocate member. I had a great time and I look forward to every event they have. There were plenty of beers to choose from. We got to hang out with our friends. We had, I don't know, 100 different beers? 100? Probably, yeah. 300 different beers. Great beers, great time, great fun. You know what? Very well done, actually. Very well organized. The representatives were polite, friendly, and the beer was phenomenal, actually. This is my first time going to a craft beer festival. Fantastic time as a home brewer myself. Got to learn a lot about different kind of beers, sample some stuff, and try a lot of great beers. It's a great show. Come on out, everyone. Have some good. Have a good time. <laughs>